So uh, I do fairly frequently both to uh, get up here for work and travel, yeah. I only, I only use it whenever we're coming up to London together. And uh, what's your reaction to the uh, average 5.9% increase in fares today in England and Wales? Um, well, I mean, obviously everyone's cost has gone up, the electricity to run the railway and everything else, but prices were very, very high compared with the rest of um, Europe anyway. Um, so it does cut a little bit because we've all got um, challenges at the moment. Uh, yeah, I, I feel the same. I'm sort of tempted to take the National Express a little bit more because that seems to be a little bit more competitive with the price. It's not very happy to hit kind of a bit increasing like that. Yeah, I think it's tough times yeah. we're living in and considering how much we depend on public transport these days, uh, it's not going to be well received, I think, by many to no, hear that, that it's increasing. Considering the, the current state of the trains as well, um, this mix with the price increase is probably going to be met with yeah. some resistance, yeah. I would say. I mean, I think certainly for me, I'd expect my employer to take it into consideration. Um, I don't currently get my travel expenses uh, expensed by my, my current employer. So for me, I think that's, that's the next step for, for workers, you know, to, to be able to, to contribute a little bit more. To have the flexibility to work yeah, from home, especially with the, with the current situation of the energy kind of prices as well going up. It's like a lot for us to take in. Yeah. It's amazing. Just, it keeps going on all the time, you know. And I don't think it's so difficult to live in London. So expensive, right? Yeah. So expensive to live in London. People are struggling already. So even most people now, they can't avoid the train. They have to take buses and so on and so forth, bike. And people are just trying to, you know, to make, because it's almost, you know, it's almost like every three or six months. It's that there's a strike, there's, you know. I know people who don't even take train anymore. You know, they have to take buses because it's so expensive. Especially if you are going to central London or rates, it's too expensive in London.